Hey guys, welcome back to the farmstead. Uh, just sitting here at the creek, uh, taking a little break. Um, so, stopped at the pub last night after uh, we dropped off that last load of wood and really just started talking to the old fellers down there and, and kind of brainstorming about what I wanted to do. And, well, that ended in a, uh, a bet sort of a, a debate or argument about which was better Ford or Chevrolet and uh, somebody dared me that I wouldn't do this so um, yeah so we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it and uh, they should really film a Ford commercial out of this so if you remember uh, a glance from last episode uh, yesterday we drove by here and I had dropped a few trees over here. Well, I started thinking again about the future of what I wanted to do. And um, I think we need to figure out some type of sustainability for not only ourselves as a homestead, uh, but also for uh, a source of revenue over the winter. And we can do that through greenhouses. There is a company um, out, of, out of Knoxville that will come up and they will install uh, some greenhouses for us. The only problem is, one, they're pretty expensive and two, they require manure. You have to have fertilizer. Well, to get manure, um, we need either cows or, or pigs. And I don't really want to do cows. Uh, and I, honestly, I don't really want to do pigs. Um, but I think a small pig pen, pig sty, would give us enough manure to maintain the, uh, the greenhouses. So if we do pigs, we need straw to make the manure. So for bedding and such. And to get straw without buying it, the best way to do that is through barley, growing barley. And if we grow barley, we can use the barley to both help earn money and also we could get chickens. Because chickens are egg producers and eggs sell quite well. Uh, they're going down right now and... Landy's eggs is paying $3,174 per thousand liters of eggs. That's insane. I mean, that's right along with egg prices today. So uh, eggs would be a good, good source of, of income. So if we do that, then I think that, I mean, I think that just makes sense. Um, so, yeah, uh, it all boils down to barley. Uh, we need barley to feed the chickens. We need barley to sell. And we need the chaff, the straw from the barley grass, to make straw uh, for bedding for the pigs to have manure in order for all of that to have greenhouse uh, greenhouses. So... Uh, I cleared a section of this. Again, I mentioned that in the last episode that I would probably clear some of this out and make this field a little bit bigger. Um, I didn't want to clear them all out because I quite like the trees there. Um, it looks really neat. Um, if uh, You probably noticed it. The contractor started construction on the barn. So that's get that's moving along very quickly. And so pretty soon we'll also be able to sell the uh the camper to luke she wanted to buy that so um as soon as they're done with the barn we'll be able to do that but first things first we have uh, a load of logs already ready to go um i did find that it was easier to load them with the tractor and a little bit of super strength uh, <laughs> as opposed to using that grapple thing so we're gonna pull these down to the sawmill and hopefully not have a wreck and we're going to laugh and uh, wave as we drive by the pub when we show the old man 
that the Ford will outpull the Chevrolet. Because there ain't no way a Chevrolet is pulling this. Now, pulling it's one thing, stopping it is something completely different. Oh, you're you're kind of in a pickle there, buddy. Luckily with the dolly, um, it sort of acts as a fifth wheel in the sense uh, combined with um, a wagon, uh, like a uh, farm wagon. So uh, between this load and what I think will be another load, plus uh, the two trailers, um, the two trailers full of scraps that we have, smaller pieces, um, I expect to make a pretty penny off of that. This is some really really good timber here, um, so the mill should pay us really well for it. And uh, that'll be a good start um, because our tractor is not very big. Oh, that's not good. Um, our tractor is not very big. And in order to pull a plow or a bigger cultivator, we're really going to need a bigger tractor and preferably something with a cab as when winter gets here I don't want to be out on the tractor um, with no cab oh boy what are we stuck on here oh that tree back there hmm oh yeah we got around it there we go yeah quit blowing your horn you see I'm working here. This is going to be a trick. This sawmill's not laid out very well. I will say that for sure. Uh, what are we hung on now? That light pole? Alright. Let's go back here and cut this off. I figured that was probably too long. Getting out of here is going to be the trick. Because there's no circle around. You have to back out of here. Alright. I'm going to run inside. See if they have someone here that can unload us. Because uh, I don't have the equipment to unload this. Alright. So they had a pretty nifty machine here. They came out and uh, grabs the, grabs the uh, trailer by the fifth wheel. Flips it kind of back on its end, and then they pull the logs out from under it, or pull the trailer out from under the logs. And then they even took it over there so that we could just grab it on the way out. It's pretty nifty. So, let's see what we get. Wow. $42,671. Not shabby. Not too shabby at all. And then plus a... Another thousand there. So $43,600 for that one load. That is, uh, that's actually really awesome. So uh, now we just need to grab the trailer, head back, grab the other load, and then all of our scraps. That should get us up to, uh, I don't know, pretty close to 180, 200,000. And then we can uh, we can upgrade the tractor, which we really need. And then uh, we can get some barley in the ground, get some plowing done. And uh, yeah, so I don't want to I don't want to waste too much time 
um, just hauling wood back and forth here. So um, I'm going to probably go ahead and do that, get all that done, and then um, I'll take you guys down to the uh, to the um, farm store with me so that we can look over some tractors, make that decision, and also um, look at getting a plow because we're going to have to have a plow to open up open up the ground. So, yeah, see you guys in a, in a little while. Maybe, uh, maybe here after lunch. Well, guys, I made a little bit of a mistake. I um, had paused the recording when we were doing those tree, the first load, first big load of trees. And then I thought I'd clicked record again, but apparently I didn't. And you guys missed a little bit before I realized that I wasn't recording anymore. So I'll give you the rundown quick. We ended up after I hauled off all the trees. So all the trees, all the little scraps. Uh, it was just one more big trailer load of trees and then like three small trailer loads of scraps. We had a little over 200,000. Um, we might be able to see it in the money stuff here for today. Um, we made $143,748 selling timber, which is insane. Now that wasn't just up here while most of it was from up here. It wasn't just up here. Some of it was also from um, Luke's property down on our lower field um, down here in uh, track three. So in this area right here. Um, and so we had talked a little bit about getting a new tractor um, just because we needed something a little bit more heavy duty. The, uh, the tractor we've been using um is this guy here the 2950 uh great little tractor you can find it on mod hub um excellent little tractor actually 85 horsepower four-wheel drive it was a straight up workhorse for what we've done with it so far however for plowing and we have the front loader attachment on it uh for plowing something a little bit more heavy duty was going to be needed uh, especially, uh, you know, when I bought this tractor originally, I didn't understand how massive the fields that we have are for a tractor that size. It's just a little bit much for that tractor, um, for everything. So, um, we stopped by the shop anyway to look at some tractors and we found this completely refurbished 4040. This is probably a late 70s, early 80s model tractor, but it's been completely restored uh, and refurbished. Um, beautiful tractor, actually. And we got a heck of a deal on it. Um, this one has the three-point hitch on the front with the hydraulics. Um, all said and done, as it sits, it was around 58000 which is an insane price insanely good price um it's 112 horsepower i was really hoping for something probably around 135 to 150 um the plow that we bought requires 150 horsepower ideally um but it is actually pulling it through this no problem so i'm actually very very pleased with this purchase it's it's old school um it's not too new and and it should be pretty easy for me to work on if I need to. Um, we did go ahead and buy the weight for the front as well. Uh, it's just good good practice to have a, a weight on the front when you're plowing. kind of helps ground everything out and the four wheel drive will actually work um, if we do if you have got the weight and it's pulling the front wheels down. So yeah, so then we came back up here and started uh, opening up this field a little bit more. I just plowed the last piece of grass. So everything from here over is extended field. And then up here, um, a lot of this up here is extended, but we started down there in the corner that was already established and just widened it out. 
So it probably was like right here somewhere. And we just widened it out to here. So we didn't make the field a ton bigger. Um, but cutting the trees made it possible for us to buy the new tractor. Um, get us back with some cash flow and opened up the field a little bit more for us so this is going to be our barley field one other thing i was talking about um i'll talk about while i'm plowing here one other thing was trying to decide whether or not we should go ahead and um plant the barley we're getting pretty late in the fall i would have to assume um i know we start out we started out in the fall I'm not really sure how cold it gets up here and what the uh, chance of snow is going to be so I'm a little concerned about investing the money in a crop for this field and it going to waste so I'm really torn about whether or not we should go ahead and plant it. Um, I may talk to some of the guys in town and see what they think. I'd say most of them are probably done farming for this year. Probably won't pick back up until spring. But we kind of need to do it because um, the barley would feed the chickens. Chicken food is super expensive. Um, so it would allow us to have chickens over the winter and then of course we also need the chaff from the barley harvest for straw um, for us to be able to get pigs and have manure for greenhouses so that we can make some extra money and have some uh, food for the winter as well so, um, yeah, I'm going to think about it for a little bit. I don't know for sure. I think for uh, today, all I want to do is finish getting this plowed. There wasn't a needs plow alert on it, um, but I don't know how long it's been since it's been plowed. Um, the guy that we bought it from, who knows the last time he plowed it. So since I was opening it up anyway... Uh, to make it a little bit bigger I figured why not go ahead and um, do some plowing and just turn it all over and then I think what we'll do is probably go ahead and hit it with a dose of lime as well before we sow it but I have to decide if I'm going to sow it <laughs> station easy to get to. And I'll probably have to come back down here again, but it's much cheaper than buying it. Nah, it might be the same price. Just buying it by the bag. Thank you. 
All right, well, that field is plowed, cleaned up, limed, and uh, ready to be seeded if we decide to go ahead and seed it. I'm super nervous about that. Um, so anyway, in the meantime, I think the contractor has pretty much finished up with our new uh, garage house. So I think it's fitting to go down here and check it out real quick. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. This is super cool. You can see the rough sawn lumber that they used from the trees that we cut down. The mill was really quick about getting that milled up too. That was awesome. Yeah, this is a pretty good little storage area. I mean, we can't fit everything in here, but we could fit quite a few implements in these little stalls right here. And then we could park the tractors in here. Yeah, that'll work for now. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, this is super cool. Old sink, wood stove, little storage chest, fridge. Man, this is cool. Kitchen table. Open the window up in the morning. We need to clean this up. I've got a plan for this actually right here looking out through there, but that's a couple episodes from now, I think. What's in uh this door doesn't open. I guess that's my bed. <laughs> this is super cool. Um, all right, well, one last thing that we need to do today. I've been waiting on this barn to be able to get and that is a pressure washer so that we can wash our equipment and I think right here on the corner yeah right there is good perfect let's wash this nasty truck All right, well, I have beat this thing to pieces. Look at the paint coming off of it. This is not good. I'm going to have to go get a paint job. But we can do that in another episode because I think that's going to be it for today. I'm pretty tired. Um, may take some wood in. Get me a uh, get me a fire built. Maybe cook some dinner here tonight, as opposed to um, going out to eat. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, let me know what you think. Should we uh, should we plant the plant the barley? Actually, you don't have to let me know what you think because I'm going to record the next video before this video is posted, probably. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do some uh, some digging and see. Um, talking to the guys in town see if uh if it's worth doing our corn is coming along 
it is still good and fertilized it is weed free so we might get lucky and be able to get the corn harvested before hopefully before snow gets here and the grass I'm not worried about the grass um, if we don't get hay then uh, we don't get it but that could be another option too I'm gonna have to also talk to some guys um, I may go down to the animal barn and talk to them and see if we have to use straw or if we can use hay for the bedding in the pig pens it'd be cool if we could use hay or straw but anyway all right guys well uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me today while uh, while we did some work around the farmstead here um, it was a good day and I'll see you guys tomorrow good night